Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Tuesday, January 31st, 2023. I'm the drunk poker root, tis beer time. It's the end of dry January for many of my friends. Also, tomorrow's the start of dry February for some of my other friends. I applaud the people that do this. I think it's a little extreme to go a month. Of course, this is coming from a guy who's written about beer every day for I don't know, seven years now, eight years, however long it's been. So I just kind of, you know, I I think it's one of those things where you you support your friends. And if that's what they choose to do, you support them. We do have a very simple rule that we follow, and, and it's a good rule. If you offer somebody a drink and they say, oh, no, thank you, that's the end of that conversation. You offer them something else. So if somebody doesn't want to drink, that's okay. That's their thing. Me? I'll have a beer. From my pal, Polly G, comes Gateway City in that that in the dead of night Oatmeal stout, 5.9%, a one-and-done night tonight, because we had a boys' night last night, and by that I meant the cats and I hung out downstairs and watched TV. Uh, you're watching The Last of Us there on the HBO Crave, whatever it is. It is stunning. I'm all caught up on episodes, and today was an emotional, just emotional, man. Like, a TV sometimes can be so good. You know, there's, there's such a disconnect, because there's so many streaming services. So, like, what I see and what somebody else sees can be completely different. Oh, I don't have that streaming service. Like, we don't have Apple TV. So I have no idea of this Ted Lasso stuff. I hear it's great. I hear a bunch of stuff there. I don't have the Apple TVs, but I got the Craves, which is like HBO basically in Canada. Anyways, I digress. Thank you, Polly. Polly's my Gateway City hookup. They should make him like an honorary member of the Gateway City Brewing Team. He's like the promotional guy because for a lot of us down here in this area, Polly brings back Gateway with him whenever he comes back from up north, and we're like, yeah, because we're in for it. Cheers, my friends. Thank you, Polly. If you're only having one beer, and you've been drinking a lot of IPAs, that's a nice beer. Get a little bit smoky, a little bit of that smoky roasted malt flavor. Chocolate, like cocoa chocolate, coffee, a very solid bitterness, a little thinner than uh, like a heavy imperial stout. Like again, you know, I've got, I almost pulled a, a, a barrel aged beer out of the fridge or the cellar. And I was like, eh, that usually leads somewhere else, right? And I was like, I don't want to do that tonight because you, you got to be up early for the works tomorrow. Um, I'm going to take some extra bonus days off in January just because I need I need a break. Without taking a vacation, I need a break. So, yeah. This is really nice. It's a very, very nice oatmeal stout. And that's it. there's nothing wrong with that. That's a very simple beer. It's a, and then when I looked in the fridge, that was what I saw. And I'm like, yeah, that, that's perfect. It satisfies that craving for a pint to kind of end the day. There we go. It's warming up a bit. And that's the one thing, too. It's a little chillier than it should be. Um, as it warms up, it'll be a little bit more textured. Um... You know, you want something that you're going to enjoy, and I trust Gateway City to always deliver that. Uh, that's one of the reasons. I'm really glad whenever Polly does get a chance to get up to that area, because I know he's going to bring this stuff back with him. And there's just fun beers to drink from up there. Um, I think, again, I think they're highly underrated. Um, if they were in southern Ontario, I think they would get a little more love. And, and I think that that's, that's something that we'll continue to talk about because a good brewery is a good brewery no matter where it's located, you know, in, in Canada or in Ontario, I guess, because that's one I mostly drink from. As you can tell, I'm exhausted because somebody fell asleep sitting up on the couch yesterday. But the funny part was when I woke up, I already had like three beers last night. Like it wasn't like I had just, I get up at 4.30 in the morning and I think I can stay up till like midnight. Um, and I wake up and Oreo's sleeping beside me and... Just across from me is Marbles, and over on a chair is Simcoe, and they just slept downstairs with me, and I was, like, really happy about that. So, there we go. This is the most disjointed video we've made in a while, but it's been a weird, weird day. Uh, yeah, so, anyways, thanks, Polly. Appreciate it, my friend. Hope you guys are all having a great night. Let's take it easy. Polk loves you. Cheers. The dead of the night. Well, I mean, I'll be sleeping, but I'll be getting up early, though. So, in the early of the morning... 